All right, this is uh, Walgreens, and this is Walgreens on the monthly chart. And um, what we can see is that price broke through, um, did touch the zone at uh, $29, $30. Uh, but that was just a pullback before the uh, continuation down. Again, this is the monthly chart, and this is a, a weekly uh, bias level that I had. Uh, denoted on the weekly chart but on the monthly chart you can see that you had a drop in price based in candle and a rally so this could have been also denoted as a monthly buy level as well again it was good for a bounce uh, roughly a reward to risk ratio of three to one but again price was still in the downtrend on the monthly chart and eventually price broke through that level um, price currently sits at 20 uh, to 90 uh, pre-market and if I just squeeze up the chart, um, I can see that we have uh, buyers that did step in uh, to defend that $22 level. Um, so let's just put a support level down here at the 22 level. Now, before we continue with the analysis, let's look into this article. Um, it is coming from the market beat. Walgreens fresh new lows is the dividend worth the ride all right so this is a dividend video dividend play is it still um, worth the risk so when interest rates are low it's easy for investors to take on risk in stocks that may be promising some questionable growth targets because it's better to have a 50 percent chance of winning rather than 100 percent chance of losing to inflation now uh, in the markets, it's, all, it's been all about the 10-year um, yield, 30-year bond, and again, um, inflation has kicked in once again. That's hurting the prices of bond, which means that the yields are going up. So bonds sell off because uh, people want that higher um, yield bond. So with long-term bonds paying a nearly 5% yield, investors have less incentive to take on stocks risk since they can gain on an inflation beating performance for virtually zero risk. Why is Walgreens stock trading at a price to book valuation that is severely lower than where it stood during these disastrous periods of time? Understanding the market may be futile, but understanding that a 0.7x multiple provides a foundation for undervaluation is a better use of your time. The truth is the financials of the business remain relatively solid. Revenues are still growing at a predictable low single digit rate. At the same time, gross margins are around 18 to 22 percent and debt has been manageable over the past five years. Analysts see nothing wrong with the stock's recent sell off as they have held on their consensus price target of $32. Again, price is roughly $10 lower. Implying the stock needs to rise by nearly 42% from today's prices to realize these predictions. While CVS has given you a dividend yield of 3.3%, Walgreens draws more investors in by offering them inflation and bond beating yield of 8.2%. So is the dividend safe? The company's four-year average free cash flow, which funds dividends, provides to be more than enough to cover these payouts. An average of 3.5 billion, the late dividend payout of 1.6 billion represents a roughly 47% payout ratio. The question is, what is management doing to attempt to turn around Walgreens? How about a $1 billion cost cutting propose, proposal by the new CEO? Regarding healthcare stocks, Walgreens <clears throat> may be positioning itself for faster growth shortly, with its US healthcare segment growing like a hiccup. Sales have gone from 2.5 billion to 7.9 billion in only 12 months, a jump of 216%. By exiting unprofitable clinics and entering into cost savings plus technology scaling volume, Walgreens stock is building a momentum it needs for the next rally. So should you buy now? That is entirely up to you to decide. However, considering that the valuations are worse than in 2018, 2008, 2008. And the stock price is trading at the same levels as, as back then, despite multiple higher earnings per share. So, fundamentals say a buy. The technicals are saying uh, a buy as well. Again, based on buyers defending this level in the past. Um, let's scroll down to the 
uh, weekly chart. And uh, <clears throat> I would love to see this uh, most recent pivot high taken out first. Uh, maybe that becomes a formation of a, uh, a W pattern where you get that double bottom. Um, and then price moves higher. All right, with a retest at the $30 level. Let's go down to the daily chart and uh, let's see what we can see here. Uh, so we see lower lows, price action, higher lows, RSI, negative divergence. Uh, this can be a W pattern. Not the prettiest. Um, so potentially you're at a level where uh, see them volume yeah so the volume kicked in on this candle here so this level here um, not ideal not the best however aggressive traders investors they can go long now with a stop below um, say twenty dollars right so you're risking two dollars again I have a price target at 30 now on the daily chart you do have two levels of interest from a sell standpoint um, that was established in August and then another one uh, in late August so this is what price has to contend with on the upside but you're on the you're being supported by the higher time frame support like I said this level has been a level where buyers defended it in the past on the monthly chart going against two daily levels of interest um, again these will be speed bumps um, but yeah for the dividend uh, it's not a bad time to um, get in for the dividend itself it appears that it is safe um, and you have the technicals also supporting price action. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.